Hello there, generic B. I am Labyrinth X, and uh, I watched your video. You talked about how you wanted to make a a uh, alviary, a huge giant alviary, and it just so happens that as of a few days ago, I made one myself, and there it is. It is 39 by 39 by 39 and then the half slab up there uh, six blocks high so 39 plus six blocks and <clears throat> yeah that is my alviary and there's <clears throat> a bit of a trick a machine that helped me out where the heck is my helmet there it is all right let's get on over there um, to help me do this because I did one whole wall by hand and it took forever forever so I did a little bit of research on the wiki and found me a awesome little machine which I'll show you here in a second but inside I haven't done too much Oop, get in there yep, there we go I just got a little setup haven't got my alvearies in or anything but yeah this is just inside up there glass of course it has to be glass unless you have all cave you know you know all about the bees you know so yeah I thought it looked cool and I will show you the blocks I used you might need B dubs to help you out with some of these because they require special wood but yeah uh, let me jump into single player real quick and uh, I'll show you how I did it oh here we are welcome back single player here we go this is a thing let me show you well get it here uh, a filler it is called a filler and what it does it does a few different things but the main thing I used it for was making giant walls the easy way so you use these marker uh, mark what are they called markers landmarks uh, like you would with a, uh, a quarry and you put them you can either do a wall which all you need is four like that so you come over here you right click boom you got a square all right if you want to fill a, uh, a set an area not just a wall you have eight of them right click boom you got a square all right let's start over here your filler you want to plonk it right boom right there and it does that then you need to give it some Michael Jackson's MJ's so the easiest way to do that for me uh, red cell energy cell boom right next to it easy you go inside you have this little square if you want to fill up an area just regular like a wall whatever you take bricks fill it in all the way shows this well it doesn't tell me what it was but that's what you want to see and then um, you put in the blocks you want to fill this area in in its little resource and I want to fill it in with cherry wood planks boom easy well I didn't put enough in to finish it but that's what you have to do so that's how you do that same thing over here boom boom got your bricks Bup, 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 bup. Oh, well, yeah, okay, we'll fill it in with bricks. <laughs> Put in more, but you see how it did that? It filled in the area. Now, let's say you want to clear it out. You already filled it up. You think you don't want you don't like the blocks, you want to undo it. Take out your bricks. Boom boom boom. Put in glass. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. And it pops them all out. Easy. And that's how I did that huge gigantic structure. I just did this all four sides uh, made the ju huge giant walls super simple super fantastic and easy uh, as for the blocks I used for the alviary um, well they're not here anymore hang on a second real quick planks cherry wood planks that's what I needed yeah so for the area of the alviary itself cherry wood planks perfect color in my opinion matches the alveary especially in fact in sfax because I love sfax been using it forever um, for the uh, little honeycomb uh, hexagons I guess anyway I used these they are walnut wood planks and for those black little bars underneath the hexagons I used ebony wood planks and that is what made the thing oh and for the little you know the honey droplet 
or not honey droplet, but the honey coming off the uh, hexagon comb looking thing, I just used those uh, amber blocks and those work perfectly. So yeah, that is what I did. Super easy, super quick. You should be able to do it no problem. And I hope it helped you out. So I'll see you. Bye.